Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today we're going to have a product review uh, slash setup of the Hapog HD PVR. Now, what comes in the box um, is not only your Hapog uh, HD PVR, but also uh, dual sided component cables, um, your adapter so you can plug into the wall, um, your USB um, cables. Um, this thing called the IR blaster cable, you see I haven't opened it because I haven't used it, but this IR blaster cable transmitter uh, is uh, to control cable TV and satellite set top boxes, whatever that means, I don't even use it. And also it comes with uh, software uh, for your driver so you can install your POG to your computer. It also includes a ArcSoft uh, Total Media Extreme. Um, the software I use to record is on this. Um, don't take this, uh, this software lightly. To replace this Arc ArcSoft Total Media Extreme is like $130. So you're actually saving money, um, really, when you buy the Hapog. But what, what, doesn't, what doesn't come in the box are uh, your component cables for your system that you use. Like I use a PS3. And um, component cables are like AV cables. You do have the audio portion right here, if you can see that, the, the, the red and white. But you have these other ones, the green, blue, and um, green, blue, and red. Uh, the, these retail for about $25, uh, around $24. I got it for $10 off of eBay. Um, another thing you should know, this Apog is very light like you can feel the plastic on it like I, I kid you not these component dual side component cables right here are heavier than this this is how light this is but uh, that's just one to just make you know that because that took me by surprise now these are some of the things you should know first this thing records in 1080i not 1080p uh, so if you put it on 1080p uh, recording, um, it will not capture. You have to put it on 1080i, especially if the uh, game you're playing is uh, the game you're playing or the output you're playing is 1080i. Okay, the default settings for this, the quality for this is some shit. Um, I just want to be honest with you. Um, it's some shit basically. Uh, the colors are, our colors are not as good. Uh, the colors are faded, but uh, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to get better quality um, later. Also, I just leave it in the description of what your settings should be if you use the ArcSoft uh, Total Media Extreme. Now, if you want to record using a Mac, you have to use a software called ITV. Um, it's uh, EYETV. Um, I'll, I'll put a link up in a video or probably in the descriptions. Um, now don't waste your time um, don't waste your time recording in 1080i um, because it's a huge file and it will eat up your hard drive so for the quality test that I'm gonna have um, I'm only gonna do 720 I'm not gonna do 1080 it's, it's really pointless um, you cannot record using your HDMI cable um, that's something you should know if you want to know how to change your output to HDMI to component, I'll leave a description. I'll leave the, the, the instructions in the description box. Or if you're using an AV cable on your HDTV, um, I'll show you how to convert. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to change your output from an AV cable to a component cable. Okay. Um, when. When you're recording with this, there is a delay. I'll show you later when everything is hooked up, but there is a delay to it. So let's go ahead and um, and install this. I'm gonna take the easy way out. I'm just gonna show you the instructions. Okay, this is what I normally did for my um when I did my uh router setup. I'm just gonna show you how it is. It's simple. All you have to do is just take your hapal. There go your system right here, your game console. You have to use the component cables. Um, first of all, the component cables, where are they at? Okay, the component cables, you have to take the audio video portion and put it in this one right here, okay? And 
you had to take your green, just match up your green, match up your blue, match up your red of the component cables for your system. It goes at the bottom, which will be right here. It'll go right here. Your system, your system input will go right here. So it's going to go in the end and you're going to match the red of the audio portion. Then it's going to be uh, green, blue, red. Okay. So with that, all you have to do for after you, you know, switch your, switch your, um, switch your output signal, the same thing is uh, these right here is going to be uh, your dual sided, your dual sided, um, your dual sided uh, component cables are going to go from your television, your HD television to your, to your HAPOG. And same thing, it's going to go at the top. So it's going to be the audio videos right here. So it's going to be the red and match it up like that. Then your, your, HDM, uh, your, your USB cable is going to go from the back right here all the way to your computer. So you're just going to hook up your... Um, your uh your uh your USB cable right there and just plug it in and that's just pretty much it so remember when you change the signal make sure you take you you unplug your HDMI cable cuz it doesn't record and uh using your HDMI once you change it over and only use the supply power supply that they give you now if you lose this adapter it's about ten dollars to replace it online I don't know how much the shipping is but uh there you have it so let's go ahead and see what it looks like when everything is hooked up alright now I have everything hooked up right now um you see the HPOG HPVR right there you see my HD television and you see my laptop now if you have a laptop or computer, whatever, make sure that you have at least a dual core processor and over ten, over two gigahertz of um, two gigahertz of uh, processing power. Uh, I highly recommend that because your captured HD footage or even yeah HD footage and things like that. So keep that in mind. Now, also another thing I have to tell you is that if you want to hook up your uh, Turtle Beach headsets to this, this, you see the, the, the red and the white. Now below this right here, you'll see a, a little jack. That's, that's my um, Turtle Beaches. As long as you put those in the, in the red and white, either on the system or the actual dual... Um, the dual component cables going from your TV uh, to your uh, your uh, HDPVR, you're good. As long as it's on the red and white, it has to be on the same. I think it has to be on the same ones, though. Um, just make sure it's on the audio. It's on the audio part, which is the red and white. Whether it's on your television or on the HDPVR, you're good. And I also said that the red and white are audio and video. In my last segment, actually, red and white is just the audio. The green, the blue, and the red are your video part um, for your HD signal. Now, first of all, um, when you hook up everything, this is actually the uh, ArcSoft Total Media Extreme. When you hook up everything and uh, load this on your computer, you have to go up here to the top where it says where it says uh, record video and click it then another window is going to come up now there you go now you'll see whatever your what's on your screen is going to be on this but you have to keep this in mind you have to keep this in mind when you're actually um recording there's an actual delay to it let me see if I can capture this watch when I move over here that's the television there's like a four second delay you see that it's like a four second uh, about three seconds hold on one two uh, it's about a two second delay I'll say that 
a two to three second delay. It depends on what what's going on. Like, see, it's it's a delay. Like, it is so bad for me when I when I record. I have to turn the volume down on my um on my uh on my my uh p uh, my laptop because it will throw me off when I'm playing online and stuff. So. Pretty much the software itself is pretty cool. Um, let me turn down my uh, turn down my brightness real quick. There we go. There we go. That's a lot better. Now you'll see right here your source. If you hooked up everything right, your source you can you can select uh, the HDPVR as your source and it'll be there, or you can select your webcam. Whatever that, uh, whatever that may be, your video input stays the same. Like right here, your audio output stays the same. Your PC audio out, uh, your PC audio mode stays two channel stereo. If you know what all that means, you can change it. But I keep it just like that. Now, this is where it gets, it gets, uh, the quality gets a little bit better. Now, I said before, the quality is some shit as your default settings. If you want better quality with your HD PVR, this is what you'll use. Go to device settings. Those are my settings. Your brightness is at 107. Your contrast is at 73. Your hue is at zero. Your saturation is at 117. And your sharpness. Uh, the sharpness is actually flawed at 255. Um, it does it does nothing so you can keep that as your default uh, keep it whatever your sharpness is as your default you can keep it because it doesn't make a difference really uh, there's a huge error with that so just leave it like that and also when you recording make sure if you want better quality go down to format settings and click that Turn your your quality bit rate all the way up to best. I learned that from another person on YouTube, and keep your uh, your channel as AC3 audio encoder, and 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 that's pretty much it. Um, I will have a quality test. Uh, it, it's going to be a quality test that says uh, best. It's going to be a separate video. It's going to be called best HD PVR quality without using. Uh, Sony Vegas now go down here and select uh, PlayStation 3 which you're recording um, what's down there um, nothing really uh, I keep all those boxes checked there go your record your capture button there go your duration that keeps track of your time how long you've been recording and what else is there now the flaw with this software is when you're recording it doesn't show how much uh, space you have on your on your uh, hard drive so you have to make sure that you go to like I use Windows so go to your start menu and select computer so you always see what what um, what uh, how much space you have on your hard drive also what this doesn't show um, when you're recording you cannot change the name of your file of what you want like say if I'm recording you know backbreaker which you see here I can't name my file then press record I have to record then go into the the video files of my uh, computer and change the name to what I want it to be unfortunately you cannot give this whatever you're recording a title first then press record now, in order for you to see this on your computer, uh, on your uh, on your um, television, you have to turn this on. If you do not turn this on, it does not send the signal to your television. So you make sure that turns on. And when you're recording, this is what happens when you press record. When you start to capture. You start to capture. It's capturing now, as you can tell. And when you're capturing, you have to you have to see something here. If you don't see something here, then it's not capturing. But your thing will turn blue as well, so you know you're recording. And when you turn it off, let me show you when you stop. Uh, when you stop it.
Now it's, it's stopped. Then the blue light turns off. Well, there you have it. Um, that's all you really need to know about the HD PVR. Um, if, you if you like what you saw today, please like the video. It really helps out a lot. And if you have any questions, comments, any concerns, you can contact me at techgamesetc at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on that PlayStation Network at Asian underscore boy underscore 100. I thank you so much for watching this today and you enjoy your day. See you later.